Yeah, why don't you just start with, uh, you know, your name and, okay. where you're, and where you're from. Well, hi, my name is Lauren LaGiudice. I grew up in Howard Beach, Queens. It's uh, about like 40 minutes from the city. It's not that far. And then I went to school in a high school in Queens. And then I went to college at Wesleyan University. And that is where everything started to change. Plows, cries. I'm Sam Roberts of the New York Times. For many actors, learning a New York accent can be the avenue to a great role. Old in our hearts. This is British actor Daniel Day-Lewis in Gangs of New York. Stains the very streets we walk today. Walks. Uh-huh. But for New York actor Lauren Lo Giudice and for other New Yorkers in all walks of life, the key to success may lie in losing their accent. Mm -hmm. The wall. <laughs> it's, a, it's so hard. When I became an actor, I just knew it was holding me back. And people would see me as, as a street character, someone um, kind of rough around the edges. And so in order to change the way people saw me, I had to work on my voice. Ah. 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 And in the last year, when doing that, it has transformed the roles that I'm being cast for. Uh, Who is that? Harry! My son! Oh, come on, I must have told you about him. Listen, it looks like you're busy. I knew I shouldn't have. Gone. There's a movie coming out when Harry tries to marry in February. It just debuted at the Austin Film Festival. And I would have never gotten that role if I was talking like that. Open up the jaw. Like other people seeking to change how they sound, Miss Lo Giudice found a speech teacher to help her make the transformation. It's in Manhattan. Yeah, I can Rather than Manhattan. Manhattan. Yes. People come to me because they need a voice that will give them credibility. They want to feel stronger in connection to themselves and not the town they came from. Law and order. <laughs> with Lauren, I was working with her on the aw sound, which is a high back vowel. A sore most of us, when we're not trained, work only in the center of the tongue. Everything gets flat. Everything is like this. Is All right, I'll go back to my New Haven Jewish accent. More. Rather than more. Yeah. New York has a very sing-songy. Mm -hmm. So the more you can hear that, the more you can mm -hmm. start to even that out. And as we move through all the sounds and we get those cleared up, we're going to move into melody. The people I grew up with are could be the cast of Jersey Shore. Um, let's pick some out, girls. What are we gonna get on here? I really, I really like like the situation. Like, I love the situation. I mean, I didn't really show you guys, you know, what's going on here. But. When you have very clear speech, I think that is an upper class thing. And just thinking that I deserve to sound that way, from a girl from coming from Howard Beach, to sound like I grew up on the Upper East Side, is holding a power that I didn't come with. He didn't know what to expect. Almost. And so, every week, Miss Lo Giudice meets with Miss Singer to learn how to drop her Queen's accent. He didn't know what to expect. He didn't know what to expect. You're pushing on it. But I, I do get poked at. Definitely, I get just like poking fun at me because my accent is different. My brother's like, you know, what's your, what the hell is that accent? He's like, what the hell are you speaking? My sister's like, oh my God, water, water, <laughs> like water. I plan to tell you all about it later on. When people from my old neighborhood get frustrated with me, it's like, are you trying to be better than us? Like, I love my family and I'm not trying to like run away from them. And it's like, it's divorcing yourself from where you came from, but yet you don't want to, you're not trying to leave them. You love them, but you are not like them anymore. Mm -hmm.